Hi, my name is Daniel Oshiro from the saxophonist.org, and today we'll be reviewing the Claude DeLong alto saxophone mouthpiece. So the Claude de Long mouthpiece, it, it is similar in some ways to the concept that I have right here. Um, this is uh, just a regular concept for alto, and it just as is, there's no modifications to it. Um, there is a little bit more resistance, I find, on the Claude de Long mouthpiece, but there is a trade-off. With that resistance comes a little bit more added middle tones to the, to the sound that I feel for some players could be very beneficial. Um, as you can see, there is a gold inlet or there's a little bit more gold and more mass to the mouthpiece. Uh, uh, when, you, when you first get it, you can feel the weight difference, obviously. And to me, I feel that that translates a little bit in, in, in regards to the response, the articulation. There is a little bit more resistance. However, I feel like for those who are looking to get more to their sound, you can definitely get more volume and retain more of the middle of your sound with the Claude de Long mouthpiece. The altissimo has to be very precisely voiced in order to be played on the Claude de Long mouthpiece. And compared to the concept, there is a little bit more resistance to the altissimo register. So 
if you're going to be playing in this in the keyed range of the instrument, this will be totally great for you. And if you do play in the altissimo, you will have to work on being very precise on your altissimo. But the altissimo sounds great. There is a lot more mass to the sound, and I feel like it does even out the altissimo with the regular instrument range. However, there is a little bit of resistance. I feel like I have the liberty to go to softer reeds on the Claude Delong mouthpiece because of the added resistance and the retention of more middle overtones to the sound. I feel like I can play on softer reeds and still get the sound that I like. The pros of this mouthpiece are the retention of the middle overtones in the sound, and for me that is the biggest takeaway. Um, I can play in the middle of the horn and it sound very, uh, I can play in the middle of the horn and it can sound uniform across all the long tube notes, but also as well I feel that in the short tube notes like high C, B, notes that tend to be a little thin, I find that on the Claude Delong mouthpiece there's a little bit more uh, meat to the sound and to me that is one of the bigger takeaways from the mouthpiece. Definitely a big pro. What the reoccurring theme I think in this is that there is more mass and therefore there is a little bit more resistance and to some players that, that can be negligible. But I find that in the low register of the saxophone, on very soft dynamics, if you have to articulate very softly on lower notes, that can be an issue. And also if you have to articulate in the altissimo, that can be difficult soft. Or if you have rapid articulation in the altissimo. Other than that, it plays very well and very similarly at soft dynamics in the medium range of the horn. The Claude de Long is its own mouthpiece, I would say. However, there are definite influences on the, the sound and the feel of the mouthpiece. I would definitely put it closest towards the concept. It is similar in many aspects, like the center of the tone and the ease of playing. However, with the resistance, I would say that it can also resemble a little bit more like the Selmer Soloist. For those who are truly invested in the saxophone, I feel that the Claude de Long mouthpiece could be worth the price for you, especially if what I've told about the pros and the cons are, are for you. Um, if it were me and I had to choose between a con staying on my concept or buying a new Claude de Long mouthpiece, then it might not be worth it if you already like your sound on the concept. To learn more about the mouthpiece review and other saxophone related materials, go to www.thesaxophonist.org.